So like I've said before, we call these ones mono boom type shakers. Um, the, the reason being that is they come out, they have that single shaker. You see these used in both almond and walnut, pecan orchards, because that boom can lift up um, and shake the branches and walnuts and pecans because walnuts and pecans grow so much bigger than almonds. Our Aldrich variety, that's the variety you shake it right now, our, have, we have such a bad problem with them splitting really bad. They get these heavy crops on them. They go kind of grow straight up and we didn't train them right when they were young at their crotch. And so they kind of split off. So this is the shaker right here. And so you got this head right here that's kind of on its own you know, it's got, it's kind of on its own pivot right here. That way it's not shaking the whole machine like crazy. But then you got these off-centered, you got these off-centered weights here that are spun by this hydraulic motor. And so when they start spinning real quick, it causes this to, to vibrate, to shake real, real violently. And so then you got the pads here so that it doesn't damage the tree, which it still can damage the tree, especially if we irrigate. We tried to make sure they've dried out a decent amount before they come in and do it or else they'll we call it barking the tree it'll tear up the tree and then and uh, kill the tree now that they have been shook we'll let them sit on the ground for about a week to dry out let them dry out and then we'll sweep them up and pick them up with a harvester and send them off what's going on fellow ag nerds it is a beautiful morning out here on the Volk ranch it's starting to get a little chilly in the mornings hence the sweatshirt which i like but that was in the back of my neck here. Right now they're just blowing in the edges. It just makes it easier for them. You have to blow in the edges or else they're gonna miss it when they come down the centers of the rows to sweep up. So they're blowing in the edges right now, making sure that they get nice and clean and swept up. And then they will, once that's all done, they've gone around the whole perimeter, they will be able to start going down the actual rows. But man, I love this site. That is a beautiful site, isn't it? Like we got a decent sized crop. They look like they're drying out pretty good. Got an old one there. That'll get sorted out. But yeah, they are looking good. Look at that, you just cracked. Hey, <laughs> what you thinking, huh? You thinking this is for you? You want it so bad, huh? Here. Oh, you just want the shell. Well, I want this. We're gonna have a bit of an interesting harvest this year because <clears throat> we had some big wind storms that came through and they blew off, knocked off a lot of the pollinator nuts. So the Aldrich and Wood Colony. And like I've said before, we don't wanna mix the different varieties that we have out here. So we've got the nonpareil, those are the money makers, those are every other row. Then we've got pollinators every other row and that's either an Aldrich row or a Wood Colony row. And that helps to pollinate the non because they're not self-pollinating. They need another variety to help them out with that. And so we don't want to cross those because non are worth the most because they're the best tasting, the best looking. It's what you guys like to buy. And so you don't want to cross the other uh, varieties into them, sweep them up with them because then you'll get knocked down on price because you've got contamin contaminated, meaning it just has the other nuts in it. I'll show you. So he's got this just sitting here kind of spinning show you exactly kind of what's going on. So you got this brush that'll be able to get up closer to the berms. That's gonna be scooting in those nuts. But then you've got this paddle here that's pushing them in. And then you've got this whole array of little sweeps and tines that are just drag, they're pulling them into the center. And that's how this works. And he's able to, there's all kinds of, you know, hydraulics on here. He's able to lift and lower and raise and whatnot. And then you got the blowers. So while it's sweeping up the nuts that are in the row that it's in, it's sweeping them in, there's gonna be nuts underneath the trees that this can't pick up with the sweeps. So as it drives, it blows them into the next row over for it to be able to pick up. You see how right now he doesn't have any sweeps down. All he's using is the blower to blow around the edges. This is kind of the dustiest process of the whole thing because these outside edges are going to be the dustiest compared to inside. 
And right now, like I said, they're just blowing. They're not sweeping anything. So yeah, you can see they've been, they sweep it up into the center here and they, you know, blow out from underneath the tree. Well, like I said earlier, they can't do that because of the pollinators have dropped a lot of nuts already without being shook. And so we don't want to sweep all those up and get them mixed in with the non-pareils because that will reduce our price. So we do not want to do that. Yeah, it's looking good. It's a lot of leaves. But a lot of nuts too, so it's hard to judge them by these because they do get so many leaves in them. Man, I love the look of the orchard after they've gone through and swept like this. It just cleans up like just this bare dirt. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, those break apart easily. Crack open easily. These are good, just like that. made it out to the field and we're gonna see the actual machines in the field doing what they do so this is what we call the pickup machine and it's doing just what it sounds like it's gonna be doing picking up Got the next truck lined up. Next truck behind it. So Skyler's been out here moving the trucks around for us. And so he does that while the nut carts pull up and unload. But some exciting news for you guys. So Shalin and I actually just got home late last night. We had a baby. So I don't even know if you guys, you, you guys don't know this because I haven't done a video of them forever, but. Shalyn's actually been pregnant. Uh, it's a bit of a surprise, but it's always a good surprise. And so yeah, we had a baby two days ago, September 18th. 
and we were we because of COVID I couldn't come home so yesterday we were actually harvesting and so I wasn't here for our first day of harvest which was really sad but it's okay I'm here for the second day so Skyler was in charge and he's been in charge basically I've just been today since we got back last night all I've been doing is run water truck because it gets so dusty with these nut carts and, and harvesters going back and forth and so I want to keep it nice and clean and not as dusty for them so that they can be able to see each other when they're going up and down the roads but yeah so harvest day two is going good we've got a lot of trucks loaded up compared to last year which i really like well these roads are getting real dusty because these nut carts are just going back and forth and it just we don't get any rain in the summer so it just dries out here and becomes just a major dust field so i've already done a, a spray down once but we're going to go through and do another one listen to this kitty purr two-stroke detroit baby Use a little cleaning in here, but it's all right. We got snacks. Yeah. No one else gets to have a nice snack truck. Side AC going. There we go. Let the air pressure build up. So what's nice is right now I've got water running to the young orchard. We finished harvesting that this morning, so I've got the drip lines running giving them some water before the next shake of the pollinators. So because of that, this is running, I'm able to fill up the water truck real quick right off the main line here. For the day we got like six or more rows left for tomorrow morning we'll finish up real quick but shutting things down and i'm gonna go eat because i'm hungry <laughs> 